Okay, we're here today on realagriculture.com at Crop Week in Saskatoon. We're here with Ron Brand. Ron is the sales manager for Cantera Seeds. Welcome, Ron. Thanks, Sean. Okay, Ron, let's talk about one of your uh, your new products. It's Glen Wheat. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, about where it was bred and some of its agronomic attributes? Glen Wheat was uh, bred at the University of North Dakota, Cantera Seeds. We were fortunate enough to uh, access that uh, with the University of North Dakota. We've been testing it here for a number of years, going through the registration process. And we were very fortunate to have Glen Wheat uh, registered last spring. So, is it a what is its kind of claim to fame? Is it a high yielder? Is it uh, meant for dryland or irrigation? Or what, what, what is kind of its what is, where should it be grown? Glen Wheat, it's a hard red spring wheat and it's uh, designed for in the Red River Valley at the University of North Dakota. And its specialty is it's uh, got some tolerance for uh, it's a very good tolerance for fusarium, and that's probably its claim to fame. Going along with that, it's uh, relatively short in stature. Very well suited for high moisture, high fertility conditions, excellent lodging resistance, and uh, one of the big surprises with uh, Glen is, is its yield and its bushel weight. Uh, yields right up there with anything on the market, and it's exceptionally high bushel. So, Ron, are you from uh, the lot of the people you talk to in Western Canada? Are, do you think fusarium is becoming more and more of a more and more of a key topic, and more and more people are getting affected by it? Fusarium uh, initially was very much a Red River Valley issue for a number of years now, uh, ten to fifteen years. But it's creeping across the west. Uh, fusarium is. We've got uh, growers in eastern Saskatchewan now that uh, year, year after year are planting fusarium in the wheat. Developing more tolerance or resistance is becoming much, much more important for most farmers in Western Canada. From where you're from, down in southern Alberta, in the irrigation country, there's now cases of fusarium down there as well. So, uh, that'll have a good fit, not just in the area we initially thought in the Red River Valley, but uh, we're, we're discovering quite substantially a big chunk of the land. Okay. okay, well, thanks a lot for joining us today, Ron. Thank you, my pleasure, Sean. Thank you.